Daytime serial Santa Barbara debuted on American television, much to the delight of soap opera fans. The series was created by the husband and wife team of Bridget and Jerome Dobson, who both previously wrote for other popular soaps, including General Hospital, The Guiding Light, and As the World Turns. Originally, Santa Barbara's central characters were the members of the two wealthy families, the Capwells and the Lockridges, who were neighbors in the affluent town of Santa Barbara, California. But today, the Castillos, the Dinopolis, and the Donnellys are the prominent figures. But even though the names have changed, Santa Barbara's current cast, who have just celebrated their 2,000th episode, insist the show must go on. Do hereby proclaim this pregnancy has made things so tenuous between us. June 12th. That's an accident. At Santa Barbara Day in Los Angeles. I can't do it. In honor of the 2000th episode and 8th anniversary of Santa Barbara. The daytime drama Santa Barbara recently celebrated its 2000th episode with a cast and crew party on the set of its Burbank, California soundstage. Since its debut eight years ago, the show has won 23 Emmys and is now seen in over 20 countries around the world. She just wants to get back in my life and screw it up again like she did for years. I'm not going to have it. A million five, up and up she goes, where she stops and nobody knows. One topic that prevailed at the party was the debate over whether daytime drama was regarded as less serious work for the actors than nighttime drama. Actress Kim Zimmer, who has worked on daytime television for 11 years, says no. For some people, it's a stepping stone. I don't look at daytime as an actor's stepping stone. It's the, it's the most challenging work an actor can do. You have this... this uncompromising need to be right and I, I admire that in you but it doesn't always serve you well you know? soon Santa Barbara will lose one of its most popular it's residents actor A. Martinez will soon don pinstripes and a tie and head south to Los Angeles where he'll become the latest cast member on LA Law I've been feeling um, a certain uh, bittersweet uh, emotional uh, tug ever since uh, I found out I'm gonna leave because I love Santa Barbara I think it's uh, a great show and it's been not only a wonderful experience for me as an actor but one of the nicest things that ever happened to me in my life i want to thank you for changing my mind about it martinez who has been a cast member since the second week of production says he found that his perception of working on a daytime drama or soap opera drastically changed after being cast on santa barbara And I don't think that the changes that it wrought in me as a man would have happened, certainly not as quickly, if at all, had I not been able to play Cruz Castillo for all these years. I think it's good you went back to your natural color. Nina Arvison, who along with Jack Wagner play love interests on the show, feel that the longevity of the program is due in part to its cast. They made a mistake at the salon. It's a great group of people. We have a lot of fun. We're here to have fun. We're here to entertain people. Um, Strong actors on this show. I think the writing is very... I think they take a lot of chances on this show. And a lot of times, you know, actors aren't very accessible of that, you know. But, but this happens to be a cast, I think, that really wants to take advantage of that kind of writing. And we have a lot of fun with it. But what would a soap opera be without a lot of sizzle? You slept with two men today, didn't you? You know, I can't control my women at all. <laughs> Lifestyles of a rich and infamous. And what's in store in the future for your favorite daytime characters? Of course, no one really knows the answer to that. But one thing we do know, according to co-stars Robin Matson, Justin Goki, Jed Allen, and Nancy Gron, sometimes some things never seem to change. Oh, gosh, you'll get married. You'll have children. Yeah, I'll get married, have children. You know, do all the fun things soap opera characters get to do. I am going to be involved with probably the most beautiful girl I know on the show. I won't tell you who you can figure that out. And I'm very excited about it because she's delightful, she's funny, she's charming, and she's a hell of an actress. I'll probably get married about ten more times, I think, at this rate. I think, um, I think I'm going to try to have another baby. And I'm married this time, so Dan should be thrilled and delighted. And that's really my purpose in life, is to thrill him. The, the ring? You thought of everything. 
Um, practically. I didn't get one of those things for you, Julian. Even though Martinez is leaving the daytime drama for L.A. Law, he won't be going empty-handed. This year, although he didn't win, Martinez was nominated for a Daytime Emmy Award in the Best Actor category. And last year, Martinez took home the award for Best Supporting Actor.